What is up guys? I haven't seen you guys in a while. I apologize. Life's just being life right now. But today I am possibly going to a new gym so I thought why not do a full day of eating. So I'm going to do meal one really quick. It's just going to be some, um, some oatmeal, peanut butter, banana, and then some egg whites. Um, just to get it in real quick before the gym. So tip number one, you guys should get something like uh, this like a spray on kind of oil it literally has zero calories instead of using like butter or oil olive oil and stuff like that um this is so much better because there's no calories in it compared to those other oils or butter itself which is just like added calories for no reason so this adds like a little bit of a taste but again it's zero calories compared to the other ones which is a major key you don't want to waste your calories in areas that you don't need to so Definitely try to get like a spray um, of like non-stick cooking spray. There you go. But something like this, like olive oil or anything. I think like Pam might have cows. I'm not sure, but definitely something you should get into. Tip number two: use like hot sauce or black pepper, which virtually have no calories and add, let's say, flavor to your egg whites. You got um, turmeric. So like these three things are my major go-tos when making egg whites so I'll just like pop them in here and it will add so much more flavor than the egg whites to the egg whites sorry but yeah so hot sauce turmeric if you want and black pepper tip number three to make sure you have all the serving size correctly I suggest, highly suggest you weighing out your food rather than doing by cups. I only do cups when it comes to rice, oatmeal, and stuff like that. So definitely get a scale, a digital scale, and weigh everything. Um, it makes everything easier. So for example, I have one cup of oats here. I'm going to put peanut butter in it on it. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one uh, one serving of peanut butter, which is two tablespoons. Just like ready, try this. Like go get a tablespoon and take out what you think is a serving of peanut butter, and then weigh it, and then you'll see the massive difference. That's my dad yawning. You'll see the massive difference of how much an actual serving size is compared to what you think it is. Um, and then two, you should get like organic peanut butter or peanut butter that just has peanuts because if you check like skippies and shit it has so much crap in it and it's like really disgusting but if you look here if you look here it's just dry ooh, dry roasted nuts peanuts you definitely want to get peanut butter that's just nuts nothing else and that'll be it but yeah so here's a little tip just put it on the scale Put on the scale, zero it out, get a spoon, hold up, let me switch hands, get a spoon, serving size 32 grams, so we're going to just pop out like that, that's 40, take some off, oh shit, there you go, oh, 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 well, there you go, that's 25, right, and put some, and then I'll just add the rest, but that's how I keep consistency in terms of trying to get my serving size, so Put it on the put the item on the scale, zero it out, and then remove from there to get one serving, and then add it to that. I'm gonna add a banana, and then I, uh, that'll be pretty much it. And I have my omelet, and we're good for breakfast. So here we have it. We have uh, egg white omelet, which is about four serving of the carton egg whites. Um, with turmeric, black pepper, and hot sauce. Then we have one cup of oatmeal, uh, three ounces probably of a banana, which is a regular small sized banana, uh, peanut butter, and then to add more flavor, I always add uh, cinnamon to it. So that's a good uh, thing to add into it. Or if you guys have a sweet tooth, um, you guys could always get Walden Farms caramel syrup or even they have other flavors in it. But Walden Farms has zero calorie stuff, which is great while you're on a cut and you have cravings. So usually I keep that for more towards the later at night. Um, but yeah, here's meal one. 
and I will leave the macros. Uh, so oh, actually, I'll give it to you guys right now. So meal one, the macros come out to be about 697, cal 697 calories, um, 80 grams of carbs, 46 grams of protein, and 21 fat. Uh, so that is meal one. Again, oatmeal, egg whites, peanut butter, and banana. Here we are. Alright guys, so it's time to go to the gym. I got my Air Max 97s on. Little graduation gift to myself. 97 is the year that I was born. I fuck with them, so I got them. Right, zoom in right there. I kind of have the Vapor Max bottoms and Air Max tops. I got Alphalete joggers. Uh, the great camel, they're like leggings for <laughs> for dudes, let's say. Um, so comfortable. Then I got a Nike top, split top. Um, it's a growl fit, yes. And then I got, shout out to main gear. I just kind of cropped the, the sleeves off of this, but this is for like post cardio when I'm sweating, so I can put this on. Go check them out if you like gaming PCs. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna head out. It's warm here in Jersey today, so we're actually going to um, take the top off the Jeep. And I'm gonna go to Whole Foods to pick up the package real quick. So, uh, I'll bring you guys with me. So, here we are, full of sunshine. I don't want to take the back piece off because it is a bitch to to literally take that a big chunk in the back off so um yeah let's get going headed to Whole Foods and I'll brief you guys over there so we're here at Whole Foods honestly not a big fan I was at my old gym just because it was convenient and it was right there so I could get like a meal afterwards but yeah all right guys so we got the goods um if any of you have ever actually like gone to like got an Amazon locker and like um, got it shipped to the locker instead of your house, this shit's crazy. Like you walk up to you with your email and your email has like a barcode in it, you get it scanned and just like a door pops up in the locker and your package is in there. It's like super cool and convenient if like you don't want stuff delivered to your house because it's a nice, let's say neighborhood or whatever. I just wanted to try it out. It's pretty dope and it's quick. Um, so I got the goods. Good. It smells like it's already open. It's hot, man. It's like 80 degrees up here in Jersey. And, well, with the sunroof. Sunroof. No roof. But. So I got BCA shredded. Um. I normally just get BCA towards the end of the cut because I want to maintain and do everything possible to maintain the most muscle mass as I can. Um, doesn't necessarily that means that it is going to or if it works, but yeah, I just try to do everything as possible. Um, I get the shredded one because it gives me my dosage of carnitine, which I like um, because carnitine like helps uh, helps the process of turning fat into fuel. So. Uh, I drink this during my workout, but yeah, so I get BC Best BCA Shredded from BPI just because the mixture, it's easy, and I get it from Amazon because it's a lot cheaper. So tip, get your stuff from Amazon, um, it's two days you wait, you know, just make sure it's ahead of time, but uh, this is definitely something I'd add to your stack if you're towards the end of the cut and if you want to maintain muscle and get that fat loss uh, supplement in, I guess you could say. So yeah, we're going to go head to the gym now, and I'll see you guys in a bit at Coliseum Gym today in South Orange, New Jersey. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so we're gonna try it out as an open house from 10 to 2. Uh, it's already 2, so we'll see what goes on, but I hear it's a nice place and it looks dope in terms of their Instagram, so we're gonna check it out, and then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Or, I'll see you guys in like two seconds. Whatever. Um, quick note. So I broke my fast at like uh, 11, 30, 12. I forgot to tell you guys, I was fasting until then, and I should have closed my window by seven, but we'll see about that. So I just ate one meal, 
Fred just pulled up. I just ate one meal and then I like to gym afterwards. I'm probably going to start uh, eating two meals towards the end of prep just because I can have more food in my system and I don't lose any of my strength and, and all that stuff. So right now, uh, I'm starting to feel the effects so of losing my strength in prep because I'm losing weight. But later towards the end of the road, I'm going to start eating two meals rather than one prior to lifting just so I can have the carbs and the energy to do so and still continuously lift heavy. But yeah, that's it. So, workout, dude, that was weird. Workout's done, got some cardio. About 30 minutes of cardio, I am starving. So I have here uh, broccoli, sweet potato, and uh, tilapia. So I have about two, 220 grams, uh, 25 grams, 225 grams of tilapia with some uh, hot sauce to squirt it all over it, and then onions, uh, a cup of broccoli, and then 340 grams. A sweet potato, a sweet potato, or a, or uh, you could say eight ounces of tilapia, twelve ounces of sweet potato, and some broccoli. Um, but yeah, this is meal two, post workout, and I'll catch you guys for my last meal. I am starving, so I'll see you guys in a bit. What is up, guys? So we're about to go ahead. It's. All right, so it's seven o'clock. We're gonna go make our last meal of the day. That will complete the full day of eating. So I'll probably eat by 7.30 by the time I'm done eating. Um, so that fast was probably like from 11.30 to 7.30. So it's an eight hour window of eating. And then I'll fast until tomorrow again, until 11.30. Um, this works for me. I enjoy it. I'll probably fast till 12, even 12.30 because I have class, but it's just very flexible. I enjoy the bigger meals. And what I ate today, including what I'm about to eat, um, fits my macros and fits my diet plan. So uh, we'll get into it after I eat because I'm pretty hungry. But I'll kind of explain that and how you should set up your meal plan and how to go about it. I kind of did a video before about it, but I'll do it again in this vlog. So let's get to the kitchen. All right, guys, so we're gonna have some sweet potato. Uh, some broccoli and then some chicken and then my source of my source of fat is going to be peanut butter um, I don't have any avocados or anything avocados or anything um, and I personally enjoy peanut butter like that's my go-to for anything Ooh, sorry that's my go-to for anything so I'm gonna have like a serving of peanut butter and then some chicken broccoli and sweet potato and I'm telling you guys you guys must get the air fryer so this air fryer is a lightsaber. Um, I cook my chicken, I cook my broccoli, all in here. That is very good because you don't need any oils. There's no frying, so like air fries, it makes the chicken crispy, like, like uh, chicken tenders, stuff like that. It's awesome, so it's basically like zero cows. 
for some like fried food, I guess you could say. Uh, it's really good. You can sell them at Costco for like uh, a couple bucks, not a couple bucks, but like 60, 70 bucks maybe or more. But it's definitely worth it because it's like 20 minutes, boom, chicken's done. 15 minutes, boom, your broccoli's done. And uh, you can literally put anything in there. So definitely invest one of those and then let's get the meal done. All right, so the chicken's finishing up, sweet potatoes are done, the broccoli is done, and then we have peanut butter. So a little tip is save half your sweet potato for after your meal, like you're serving a sweet potato for after your meal, because then you can put like cinnamon and peanut butter on it, and it's like a dessert, and it's so good. Um, so I'll show you guys that. But we are going to have at least one cup of broccoli, which I ate some already, um, six ounces of chicken, and then 340 grams of um, sweet potato or six, uh, 12 ounces, sorry. So 12 ounces of sweet potato, six ounces of chicken, and then one cup of peanut butter, and then two tablespoons of peanut butter, sorry, and one cup of broccoli, there you go. Uh, so weigh that out real quick. One hundred seventy will be half. Um, so right there, that's one. That is one sixty-eight, one sixty-nine. So that is half my serving of sweet potato. I'm gonna keep the other half for the peanut butter. Right now, that's how it's looking. The chicken is basically done. Little like little chicken tenders. So I'm gonna weigh that real quick. Gonna take out the sweet potato. So we're gonna zero this out. Oh, it's not zero. Zero this out. We're gonna dump all the chicken in here. See how it comes out. Looking for 170. Oh, oh, we're right there. 150 grams. One side. That's not bad. So that's 170 grams of chicken, or six ounces rather. And so, this is dinner, broccoli, sweet potato, and chicken. I have the leftover sweet potato right there um, for dessert with peanut butter. So I'm gonna eat right now, and then I'll catch you guys. So here's the remaining of the sweet potato. Put it here, so we are a about 20 grams short of 170 of 12 ounces, so um, whatever. I'm just gonna eat this because I don't have any more sweet potato. So the key is, so we're gonna get some peanut butter. We get some peanut butter. And pop that on here. This is a tip, ready? Right? Put the full jar on it, zero it out. Let's cut this first. Let's cut this. Put some cinnamon on that. Like then, scoop out, scoop out, uh, uh, scoop out 32 grams. That's about 31 right there. 31 grams right there, and just pop it on there. And that's dessert. And if you have more of a sweet tooth, guys, again, the zero calorie syrup, caramel. And that's what I'm calling, like, that's a dessert right there. This is going to be sweet. Uh, it's going to be so worth it. Look at that. Look at that. Now that is a low-calorie dessert. What, 200 grams of, like, 200 grams. 200 calories on the peanut butter. Um, probably, like, 150 sweet potatoes. So that's 350 for dessert. Zero-calorie syrup. Cinnamon. It's perfect for when you have cravings and a sweet tooth. This is my go-to. Every time I have a sweet tooth, um, I incorporate it into my eating. So, again, sweet potato, peanut butter, and then caramel syrup with cinnamon on top. Uh, zero cows. You can get this at, like, vitamin shop. But that is the ending of my meals for the day. I'm going to show you my macros in a second. Let's go sit down and eat this, enjoy this, and we'll talk about it. So these are my macros for the day. I generally try to stay around the ballpark of uh, 150 something, 150 to 155 grams of protein, uh, 240 grams of carbs, and then around like 50 grams of fat, 60 grams of fat, uh, normally 50 grams of fat, 
um, and then like around 2,000 to 2,200 calories depending on what day it is. Um, if I'm really active, 2,200, 2,300. If I'm not, if it's like a shoulder, um, sorry, if it's a chest day or a uh, arm day, something like that, I'll go down to 2,000 calories just so I don't have to be doing too much cardio. I'm like at 15 to 20 minutes of cardio. So yeah, um, today finished off, so the app, sorry. The app that I use is My Macros Plus. Um, it's it's like two dollars. Uh, so today we ended up at 157, yeah, 157 grams of protein, 237 grams of carbs, 40 grams of fat, and then at 1939 calories. So 1,939 calories. So I am a couple short. So I'm actually gonna have one serving of dark chocolate chips, um, which is 70 calories. That would pop me up to 2,000 cows and then some grams of fat put me up in my grams of fat therefore I'll kind of meet my goal so that's my full day of eating uh, as you can see my breakfast right here what we had was the oatmeal the egg whites peanut butter and banana my lunch was the tilapia filet sweet potato and broccoli and then my dinner was boneless chicken breast uh, peanut butter sweet potato and broccoli so Reason being I'm probably down on fats let's say is because I didn't really have any fatty sources of protein like they were all clean proteins like egg whites, tilapia and boneless chicken are probably the least amount of fat um, kind of proteins you can get. There's obviously like um, ground meat and stuff like that which I could have eaten and got my grams of fat there which are a bit more calories but I didn't today. But generally I like that because I do like chocolate, I do like peanut butter so I'll add more towards a I'll add more of that to reach my fat intake. So just to show you guys what you should do to calculate how much you should eat. So right, you open up your Safari on your uh, your phone. You go to katiehernfit.com. Then we go to the menu. We find the macro calculator. And then you should enter your gender, your male, I'm 22. I weigh in today about 163, 164 let's say. Uh, I'm 5'7 and I am personally active. I'm lifting at least five times a week and I want to lose weight let's say. I'll calculate that and that comes out to what I just said earlier. Around 57 grams of fat, 240 grams of protein, uh, sorry carbs, 138 grams of protein. I keep it higher personally because I don't want uh, one the cleaner proteins I ate today offer a lot more protein than the average protein source, let's say. Um, and two, because I want to retain as much muscle mass as I possibly can, especially later on in the cut. Um, my protein intake goes higher and my carbs go down because I'm trying to maintain and rebuild the muscle mass that I have on me. Uh, and then 237 calories. So for me to hit that 2000 mark, I'm gonna have some chocolate chips, but I suggest you guys actually do this find out what your macros are uh, and then try to base a meal plan then use IIFYM if it fits your macros to build around your goals and diet and then from there just just enjoy it cutting's not that hard if you can plan it out and figure it out so that was a full day eating for me and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like uh, comment anything you guys want to comment asking any questions about certain foods or anything like that and I appreciate, you, I appreciate you guys watching, and that is a full day of eating while shredding.